Quality hide makes the hardiest clothes around. Don't doubt it. If you don't want to put it on now, I can send it on to the stable. Come on, princess. I thought we might go get a beaver saddle today. I usually put these off because they're not very special and not the best looking of the trapper saddles, but it's an easy upgrade if you're just starting the game, and it's a far better saddle than the one you get in Coulter. You do need a varmint rifle, and a scope will come in handy. And then get yourself to Oangela Lake. And I feel like we need to talk about headshots. With beavers and iguanas, you need to aim for the nose. Their heads are so small, it's easy to mess this up. You want to hit between the eye and the nose for these critters. And be careful here, it's easy to slide off these rocks on horseback. Yeah. Easy, girl. I'm nearly there. Throw it up. And look at the surface area on this beaver pelt. How is the trapper supposed to make an entire saddle out of one beaver pelt? It's another one of those Red Dead Redemption 2 mysteries that we may never solve. Here is your map. We found this one on the southwest side of the lake, but they'll be all around the shore. A little bit of awkwardness here can't be helped. This camp spawns Appaloosas and Mustangs, but not today. And this wagon has a loot box with three gold nuggets. And sorry to get your hopes up, but Arthur has already collected them. It's hard to keep track of all of my Arthurs. However, we can follow this stream all the way up to the trappers. It is not without its hazards, however. This blood stain is interesting. It looks fresh. Moving on. It's all right. <laughs> yep. Consume a health item so that we can survive the almost inevitable cougar attack. Here she comes, look at the radar, look how fast that red dot is moving. Yeah! 
running away here to create some distance. She's right behind us. Easy enough. I got into the habit of taking the whole cougar to the trapper because I feel it spawns a new cougar faster. Let's get. And if this coog wasn't a three star, I would just sell the whole carcass and not even bother with the processing. It won't take long. <laughs> Thanks for your help. Quality hide makes the hardiest clothes around. Don't doubt it. But as long as he has a fresh cougar pelt and this is a trapper saddle video, we might as well pick up the Cougar McKellen saddle. You don't want to put it on now. Also, here's what we came for, the beaver roping saddle. I would like to make a video someday on how the trapper is able to teleport across the map so effortlessly. I think it's either UFO technology or clones. The Sandini one is obviously the prime, and he got the aliens to make clones. But I digress. Let's get back to the stables and check out our new saddles. Here are the cougar stats. Not my favorite. Let's take it outside and get a better look. Now, and bring that horse back anytime. I do like the claws, but I'm not happy with the stirrups or the general quality level. Not the trapper's best work, especially when compared to the panther saddle. Okay, girl. Here are the stats on the beaver saddle. Not for now. You and that horse are always welcome. Between the two, I do prefer the beaver roping saddle. It's more finished, it's more refined, the stirrups are nicer, and it looks more traditionally western. You could do a lot worse for a starter upgrade. Okay, my girl. And look how much better the panther saddle looks when compared to the cougar. However, Arthur has the rattlesnake vaquero saddle, which I believe is the best saddle you can get in story mode. It's a fine balance between upgraded stats and western aesthetics. So get a beaver if you're in the neighborhood, and then 
start looking for snakes. Safe travels. Remember to rest that horse sometimes. I'm Super Antonio. Thanks for watching. I appreciate your views. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell for daily Red Dead Redemption 2 content, and we shall meet again. Further on down the trail. Hey, mister. Making new friends again, I see, Arthur.